I'm going to show you a fast way to move information from Quizlet into Quiz Is. First go to Quizlet. And select one of your uh, study guides. When you have it selected, go to these dots and click export and then copy the text. Next, we're going to create a Word doc and create a blank document. We're going to paste Control V the vocabulary. Then we're going to File, Save As, We're going to export. And change the file type to a plain text file. Click OK. Close Word and open Excel. Click New, Blank Workbook. Go to Data at the top. Click From Text CSV. And click Import. Check the formatting. Click Load. And now you have all of your data in a nice spreadsheet. Save it. Then we're going to go to Quiz Is. Create new quiz. Select the class. These are from classes I already have set up. You might have to set up classes to get this screen. Then click Next. Import spreadsheet. So click here. Download the template. Open the template. Enable editing. Of course, this is the Windows version. The Mac way looks a little bit different. I've got my questions in column two are my definitions. I'm going to click Shift to select. Control C to copy. Control V to paste these in. Then my answers. Same thing. Control Shift selects this column. 
Actually, let me get the other one unselected. And then control, I hit escape for that. Control C, we'll copy. Go to the first column. These can be all the correct answers. Control V. Now, if you have time to put in intelligent distractors, incorrect answers, that's great. Here in the Corona outbreak, I know that a lot of teachers aren't going to have the time to do that, at least not when they first set it up. So let me show you a fast way to do this. Go to the next column and go one down. Control V to paste again. Same thing. Down again. Control V. Down again. Control V. Down again. And Control V. Correct answer is going to be one, although it'll be randomized on the screen, so that doesn't really matter. Grab here and just drag this down until you get to the bottom. Time value will default to 30. You can set it at 45. Drag that down to make it all the same. Now, we're going to go here, we're going below the line where the last question is. For this one, I'm going to control X to cut and paste. Then select these two, control X, I want them out of there, and paste. Go down here, shift click, Control X and paste. And the same thing yet again. This way I can quickly create the distractors. Now, some of these are going to be obvious distractors, and the kids are looking, oh, that can't be right. Sometimes it's going to be a little less obvious. This is maybe not the ideal way to do it, but it's the fast way to do it, and sometimes fast is what you can do. So um, you can always go back and edit it by hand and put in different distractors as you, have, as you have a chance to do that. But if your district is told you've got to get online and get online fast, this is how you can get online fast. Again, you can always go back and improve it after you've created it. If you have images, you can put those up on Photo Bucket or somewhere like that, link them back here, and the images will appear. I don't have any images for this set. I may do a tutorial on how to do images and quizzes later. But just know that you can put an image link here if you need to add images like graphs or pictures or whatever you've got to put with your quizzes set. You can do it that way. All right, so the template's set up. We're going to need to save it. Close it. In fact, just go ahead and close all the Word and Excel files. So you can click here, find your document, open, click Save, and there's the game. And you're actually going to play it, it, the answers will be scrambled. So what if I look at it and go, wow, well, I'd really like to improve that. I mean, they're going to look at that and go that block grant has to be the right answer. Okay, so you can go in and edit, and you can change it to something else. Click Save, and you've improved the question. All right, so that's how you make it. Click Finish Quiz. You can add a quiz image if you want to make it prettier. I like Pixabay for finding images for my quizzes. If your standards are in the system, mine are not, you can click to align your quiz to standards. You can use it for homework assignment. You can use it for an online game that can be played remotely. 
There's a lot of flexibility with Quiz Is. We'll go more into that later. Today I just want to show you how to quickly set up a Quiz Is from an existing Quizlet set. Here you can select grades. And you can share it with other instructors if you would like to.